although I get the sentiment about, you know, homeowners not wanting to do that, Mr. Let Go to me came from a whole different type of perspective. Let's watch. So many landlords are no longer accepting Section 8 vouchers to the point where in Atlanta, people are staying in homeless shelters and those tent cities, okay? Other figure out what's going on. city encampment. What's the use of a voucher? And I can't do anything with it. In a lot of people's faces when they can't find a place. Moved by her experience, she is working with other students to figure out why landlords are locking out tenants on Section 8. We just want to know, did you not get paid on time? Was the relationship with the tenant bad? In Cobb County, the Housing Authority says in the past two years, the number of landlords actively participating in their program has dropped. 20%. What would you say is at stake if we don't figure this out? You're going to see uh, a, a huge increase in homelessness, women, children. Our most vulnerable populations will be suffering. Ladies, it's over. Having a baby and getting Section 8 or having a baby getting food stamps, having a baby and getting a check is now over. The single mother epidemic is finally about to be over. The government has been your husband for way too long. Now it's time for you to go get therapy, fix your little attitude, fix your life, and go get your own husband. And I'm not making fun of anybody going through anything. I'm not making fun of anybody not being able to find somewhere to stay. But the bottom line is this. We all are adults. And the biggest problem in our community, the black community, is single motherhood. And why is single motherhood an epidemic? It's simple. The government keeps incentivizing you and paying you money in order to be single mothers. And now they're pulling a rug from up under your feet. And I love that because, like I said before, we are adults. If you want to run around having fathers, babies, don't know who the daddy is. Last time I checked, I couldn't create no child without no motherfucking sperm being shot up in me. <laughs> Even now, even now, we can't have no baby at all without the help of sperm. Right. Now, for us, we're the parents. We just need your sperm. That's it. These single mothers out here didn't go out here just asking for no men's sperm. Period. Go ahead, punk ass. These don't know who the daddy is. Oh, well, you're going to have to figure your own life out. If I want to go out here and do something irresponsible as a grown man, I got to pay, keyword pay, for my decisions. And for too long, you ladies have been able to just run around like little children, just having babies left and right. And here comes the government paying your bills, giving you Section 8, giving you food stamps. We've been running around here so long, single mothers, because the goddamn fathers dis... Up here. You disappear. Nobody, no woman is going out here. I'm finna get pregnant and get on Section 8 in government assistance. I don't, I don't want my want child him. daddy. I don't want him. I don't know too many women that say that. But I do know a lot of women who thought that they was in love with this man. This man was in love with them. They created this child. They thought they was going to be together. And then they up and not be together. And this nigga went and had another baby by another woman. And another woman. And, and another ghosts. woman. And another woman. And now he goes from all his kids. And this is why the government is have to take care of kids. Now, what's going to happen is, all you men out here that's knocking these women up, you're going to be held accountable and responsible now. Because you know what's going to happen? A lot of more women are going to be putting you out on child support. You know what's going to happen to our black men? A lot of them going to be in jail. Yes. giving you a check but all of that is over you now are going to have to live with your decisions and i use the term live loosely because some of y'all are living on the street and i'm not making fun of it but i need you to understand you think you can live your whole life living out the government or either having a baby so you can live out the government and you think this is going to happen forever you are a grown woman and yes, I know there are men who are on Section 8 also, and I'm speaking to them too. But the number one reason why I'm here is to help end the single mother epidemic. You ever wanted to know why I do these videos, why I coach women, why I do what I do is specifically to end the single mother epidemic. That is the number one thing that is hurting our people. And my job, my job is to help end fatherlessness. So all of you ladies who've been enjoying getting incentivized by the government, getting paid to be single mothers, it is over. 
You got to figure something out, get you two jobs, go take your little child to your, your mama's house or go move with your mama. You ladies are adults, just like we men are. Y'all want to be equal. Y'all want to be independent. Y'all want to leave marriages and y'all want to be single. Have at it. Because you no longer are going to be able to depend on the government. And this is what's crazy. The government isn't taking away Section 8. We landlords are no longer accepting Section 8. So it's not really the government that's taking away your little baby money. It's the landlords that are making a conscious decision to not let Section 8 people live out in nice neighborhoods where hardworking families I know you probably never heard of the word family, which means a husband, wife, and children. Husband, wife, and children. Husband. Say the word husband. We're no longer incentivizing you to have more fatherless babies. No, you got to get it out the mud just like the rest of us. You know why this is important? Because there are millions of young women out here who don't have children yet that are slowly getting talked into. Hey, all you have to do is have a child and you can get Section 8. Not anymore. So those millions of young women who don't have children yet, it's important for you to see this. If you want to end up like these older women, out homeless, looking crazy with her little two, three kids, and she don't know who the father is, young women, get some therapy and find a husband. Get two things the right way or end up homeless, period. Stop having fatherless babies. Require marriage before you have a baby or face the consequences. Mr. Lego is very hurt that his marriage did not work and the wife that he had did not want him anymore. So a lot of this shit is coming from her. Bitter. Bitter as hell. Oh, he bitter. Ooh, he's coming off like a bitter baby mom. Mm. And to me, first of all, we have a world of a billion people. Not every single woman wants to get married. Not every single woman wants to have kids. He's making such a generalization as if every woman on this earth need to get a husband. That way she don't be homeless. And getting government assistance is not just to single mothers. You have disabled people that get Section 8. Mm -hmm. You have elderly people that get Section 8. Yeah. You have a lot of different people that get um, government assistance because of other things outside of being just a single mother. Now, when we're going to talk about single mothers, now, mind you, when you're a single mother and you're raising your kids by yourself, you're doing it by yourself. So with that being said, you need help. Yeah. I'm not saying that you should be on it for forever or whatever. Right. It's a stepping stone. To but I to do feel like it's level. a stepping stone for certain people. Even with getting government assistance, certain requirements are required before you can get them. For instance, just like um, CAPS child care for your child you have to be a working mother in order to receive to get those child benefits, care right? yeah okay. you can't not be working in order to get tanf you have to be working or in school yeah you have to be doing something and, 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 and when it comes so, to stuff like that if you're if you if, if you do lose your job and you on section eight they're gonna put you in this work Force program, so I've heard that they make you get a job. And for those people that don't want to do that, it has nothing to do with them uh, uh, just having a baby and wanting to only have want a baby. To be on it has something to do with their mentality. Right. Even if they do have a man, like you said, they can whole have a man and he can be, have that same mentality. But let's talk about the men who living with these women in these government assistant program um, houses. But don't say, but don't say, uh, we finna pull ourselves up out of here. I'm about to pull you out of here. Okay. I rent on the $200. Why we gonna move from $200 play, baby? We can stay right here. <laughs> yeah. Speak to your men. Ask them why they out here creating single mothers. Um, single mothers. It's a legit question. A condom can be used. You do not have to sleep with a woman unprotected. That's why I don't understand. That's what's crazy to what's me. Harping all so on many this. men blame it on the women. Oh, we gonna blame the women, we gonna blame the women, we gonna blame the women, we gonna blame the women. No, blame yourself. It take your skeet skeet to create. You want to take all the responsibility when things are going good, but when shit hit the fan, you want to be, oh, I ain't do it. She raised him, not me. And I saw a video of Cynthia G when she said, That system that provides everything to you is a more beneficial system than anyone that black men would be running, especially in this country with this mentality. Because can you imagine how much negatively this man can affect the lives of black women 
when he holds a legal degree, he's in the legal system and he despises black women. We see this all the time. Anytime black men get in a position of power, they use that power to oppress black women, either by trapping them into poverty by way of marriage, leaving them as single mothers to take on the burden of multiple children on their own, or enforcing the same policies that they claim the system of white supremacy would enforce. Because in my mind, when he said that y'all want to be equal, y'all want to be independent, y'all want to leave marriages, and y'all want to be single, the government isn't taking away Section 8. We landlords are no longer accepting Section 8. We landlords are no longer accepting Section 8. And something in my mind just like, oh, so is this gonna be all black men gonna get together if they are in the real estate industry? Oh, we not renting a section eight. Just to try to prove a point because you ain't got no man. We ain't renting to y'all because most single mothers um, are section truth eight. Truth be told, it's only gonna last temporarily. The cost of living is going up. Yes. And people cannot afford it. So you know what's gonna yes. happen with you landlords? Nobody's gonna be renting your house. And then you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna open your doors back to government assistance. Yeah. I mean, it's just a cycle. Yeah, right now, it looks good because the, the market is good and it's going. But after all y'all people get out here and y'all y'all get these houses and y'all flip these houses and this, this, and the third, and you raising the prices so high <laughs> when nobody can rent them, then what? That's right. when Section 8 came about. Right. Nobody could afford to rent these houses from yeah. people. You didn't so have to get in that program. Government assistance, right. You didn't have to do it. Government assistance actually helped a lot of fucking landlords. To be honest, it yeah. helped a lot you of fucking landlords. You get guaranteed money every month from the government. So you didn't have to get in that program. It takes a lot, even for a person that's renting their house out to Section 8. You, yeah. It takes a lot to get in that damn program. You got to be in compliance and everything. So you knew the money was good. Section 8 was out since I, before I was born, okay? So you can't say, oh, now they tired of people messing up their place. That's why they do it. They tired of these single mothers coming in here with their kids. That been going on for years. So please not say that that's the reason why. We don't even know as of now what's the reason why people are stopping. Maybe because rent is going up too high. And we I don't think, know what the government is doing. I think, honestly, doing. that's what it is, yeah. though. Because when you're thinking about it and they having to cough up so much money. Outside of what the cycle is going to be, right? Right. And you're saying normally you could have gotten a house back when maybe $1,200 for your nice house. Nowadays, that's double that. That's $2,400. And now the government is looking at they don't want to take this voucher because it only pays a certain amount, amount of your rent. Right. So when you get these vouchers and you got these houses and these properties so expensive and so high now... You have landlords looking at people' income. Yeah, the voucher may be for maybe, but they still $800, may not cover the the five hundred dollars. Yeah. So yeah, true enough, they may not trust that this person can cover the remaining half. Before then, right. the government was damn near giving you ninety percent. Right. Of All you had to do is pay fifty dollars. <laughs> of the one hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars, and it yeah. kills me. The same one saying that y'all don't love us, y'all don't take y'all. Listen, y'all don't be on the front of the line for us. Y'all don't do this. Y'all don't be the same ones talking shit about the same people that sit there and have your fucking back all the and, fucking and, time. And, and black men, for real, for real, need to start speaking up to your black brothers, honestly, because a lot of stuff that come out their mouth. It don't make no type of sense, especially when you're speaking about somebody <laughs> came out of a That's the shit that irks me. And when you speak like that negatively about a black woman, you hate yourself and you hate your mother. And I feel bad for you. I feel so bad for you. Let me tell you, I may not agree with what a lot of things that black men do, but you won't ever hear me speak badly about them on this platform or to somebody that's outside my nationality or race or color or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to do it. Right. You know why? Because I have a black father. I have two black boys. I have a black uncle. I have black cousins. His the face, same his whole face stay miserable. Yeah. Misery. He want his wife to come Better back so bad. And she will all that. His face say all that. I mean... He need to look in the mirror and say, I love It's sad me. even seeing him talk <laughs> because I know you want your wife back. It did not work. And now you trying to tell all women you need to get a husband and then you'll be okay. You'll be safe from fucking grace. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Man, let's go to the next video. We'll see y'all in the next one. I won't tell. I won't tell.